Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Man Battle Number 2. Now, in the last episode we had gone ahead and did some extra side questing, so that we can get the SS license and the SSS license, as well as finished up the jobs on the Request BBS. So, with that all out of the way, it's time for us to head back into the World 3 area and see if we can't, you know, take the rest out. Now, I'm in Area 1 because there should be a few more, yeah, like right here. We gotta show off our SS license, so we can get a few more goodies. Like a bug frag. Ah, how many of those do I have? Where is it? Did I pass it or something? Oh no, there's right here. I need one more. Okay. And then we can get Zeus Hammer. Nothing over here but a dead end. Might be another one, but I went this way, so. Also, you guys suck. Oof, not much good stuff. I also can't take out his barrier because I don't really get attack up. Well, this will have to work. <laughs> Just spam the swords until it go until he's dead. That's the only thing you can do. Alright, well off to area two. Now area two is full of these um little rotator panels. So keep that in mind. I'm also gonna save just in case we come across the one of the things. Should be some stuff on the end here. Anyway, we wanna go. If I remember the area correctly, which I I think I do. Probably should have looked at a map first. Oh well. I'm in a small bit of a... I don't want to say a rush, but kind of. Is, uh, while I'm recording this, I'm actually moving out currently. I mentioned this during the... Well, you guys probably will be seeing this for probably another week. Because I like to record ahead a good bit. Because I'm recording this on, um, August 20th. And this will probably be going up, I want to say sometime next week for me Let's see okay, can't get that we'll go up here I have missed it I was supposed to go over one more this is not the greatest situation to be in but we'll be fine okay, you guys get hit with that one of you can hit, hit with it. Right, and fire, aqua, alack, bubbler for good measure. And then just start spamming buttons so I can hit them. Okay, this should work, but I did grab roll as an extra countermeasure just in case, and I had fun. And that's why you grit. And that's why you grab extra battleships in case you screw something up. And I get no battleships. Fun. Well, whatever. Okay, we gotta get through Protecto 2s. Who are now sitting in the back? Honestly, I don't have a way to kill them. Reset. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. Should be able to go over here, collect this. But yeah, there is absolutely nothing we can do to actually take him out. So we'll need to find another way to get to that program advance. Or not the program advance. Um, well, we'll need a program advance to get there, essentially. Actually, let me drop that, that, that. And that. Because the grass panels is being more than enough to kill them. There we go. Hey, we actually got a battleship this time. Drop down S. That'll be useful. Alright, Mega Man showed the SS license. The cube opened up. Now, there is a door here that we should be able to get through, but real quick, as I am going to, and you'll see why for this in a minute, as I'm going to switch over to Aqua Custom. Of the many navvies, this door only opens for the strong. The door will not open. Let's see, so for that, I assumed it would open, but I wanted to switch over to Aqua Quest anyway. 
So, meeting the many navvies is we have to defeat, I believe, all of the version 3 for the operator navvies. I believe. So, yeah, I'm gonna double check this, um, but we're gonna go through this area real quick and collect these mystery data, because why not? There's no point in not collecting them. Okay, then we gotta run through all the way over here. I'm gonna essentially go straight back up. And dude, what is, why do some people have to do that with their cars? Like, just calm down, man. Well, plus, I'm not gonna be taking double damage from these guys. Can't even do that properly. Nice. It's probably just gonna run into him. Yeah, okay, there we go. Alright, let me just get this last mystery data and then we'll be on our way. Return to asterisk. Okay, and we can't jack out. So yeah, I'm gonna double check to make sure that that door is what we need to open is the, let's see, the operator navvies, and I'm, then I'm gonna meet you guys over at whoever we still have left to beat, so I'll be right back. Okay, so um, I double checked it, and I was half right. We need to get every navvy, all the navvy battleships for every single net navvy, except for the ones in the World 3 area, so pretty much currently just Ferromat is the one we don't have to worry about. So, meaning I need to get Proto Man version 3, I need to get all the Magnum Man chips, all of the Freeze Man, and the Heat Man chips. Those are the only ones that I'm really missing, so it's just gonna be four Navi fights, really. Well, six, technically. So, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and work on that. And show you guys the fights, probably a little sped up. So, yeah, let's get this going.
So, now that we've taken care of all of the bosses that I had left to defeat, ignore all the missing stiff, okay. But now we have all of their version 3 battleships. We've got all the roll battleships, we have all the Gutsman, Protoman, Airman, Quickman, Cutman, Shadowman, excuse me, Nightman, Magnetman, Freezeman, Heatman, Toadman, Thunderman, Snakeman, Gateman, and the other, and the others that are yet to have been collected. Now we can finally head to this gate, and Magnet Man and Freeze Man surprisingly like, forever to find. Because as you guys are watching this, this is currently the next day of recording. So yeah, you who command L Navi Legions, step forward. I have also switched back over, as you'd see when I was fighting Magnet Man and Freeze Man, I had the Elect Cust. I switched it back over to Oct Cust specifically for this fight. The door is opening. Visitors, how rare. You must have defeated Pharaoh Man. Who are you? If you're going to break in, you might try to be nicer, eh? See, it's like this. I guard Napalm Man's turf. So, I'm supposed to take out anyone that makes it in here. Not that many people do make it this far. Mega Man, watch that guy! But what's up with Pharaoh Man losing to a bunch of kids? Oh well, this'll be fun. I need a bit of exercise anyway. Well, shall we get on with it as they say? A battle to the death! Land, here he comes! Is there any kind of battle, realistically? At least in these games? Anyway, Napalm Man is surprisingly quite annoying. Is those little gun turrets that you see pop up? He spawns them constantly throughout the battlefield, and they can constantly get in your way when you're trying to area grab. And they're always going to be firing. If you're not in the same line as them, they'll decide to just go away and not bother you. But if they do detect you, then they're going to start, you know, firing, and if you're not invisible, they're going to do some decent damage. So just keep that in mind. Now, Napalm Man doesn't do much attacking himself. He jumps around quite a bit before he actually stops to actually attack you. But, ow. But as you see, like, he does go ahead and just start dropping a bunch of those little things that start cracking your panels. Ah, why can't I get, like, you know, some really good stuff? I mean, I can kill him if I get another program advance. Well, it'd be easier if that center panel wasn't taken. But that should stop his attack. There we go. Okay. But yeah, that's how Napalm Man mainly works. Is he's going to use the gun turrets as his main method of attack. And then once he stops and fires down the fire pellets... Oh gosh, and this is his big attack. It works like a big bomb that attacks you, so you want to just kind of stay away from that. N not bad. I see why Ferriman bit it now. You got skills, boy. You you must be the chosen one. The chosen one? And, yeah, they don't even question that with a cutscene or anything. Anyway, the internet's deep inside the net, but could gospel get in? Now, if you've noticed, the area has changed up a little bit. Now we're in Area 3, the last of the World 3 areas. Okay. Also in this area, we now have the Scuttlest Virus, who has a barrier with 150 HP on it, and has 100 extra health to boot. Which is just so much fun. Okay, I was trying to hit all of them. Okay, we're not in exactly the greatest position. Okay, he's gonna go out to the scuttle and not do anything. Dang it, roll!
Luckily, panels are starting to heal. Of course, I come out of invisibles, like, right as soon as that happens. And no battle chips. Well, whatever. Also, yeah, if you don't have the SSS license, you're not going to be getting anywhere. Also, I'm going to save, because there are more of the Protectors in this area, and they're at the most powerful. And, of course, why would you, why are you not hide in the back? This is exactly why I equipped, or why I saved, I should say. Oh, where is it? Oh, wait, no, they get G-code in this game. Yep, the fire, yep. Where is it? Bam. Lose a bubbler, we'll be fine without it. Now, these protectors are the same strength as the ones that we had seen in Area 2. There are stronger ones that we have to face that I believe... How much health did they have? That's what I'm trying to remember. Okay, of course you wouldn't give me anything useful. Okay, now I just need to spam the A button and get invisible and then hit them with a sword. Go, 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 go. You took yourselves out. Not me. Okay, hopefully the fan will get me through most of this area, but probably not. And we'll have to come up with a plan for the rest of the Protectos and... Okay, more viruses. Some pretty deadly viruses, too. Yo-Yo 3s aren't exactly a fun thing to deal with, and of course that would go straight through. Might as well program advance while I can. Okay. Yeah. Ow. Stop that! Rude. Oh, there's another thing over here. Well, I'm sure if you guys can guess... Okay. Why are you gonna give me a red UFO? I'm not gonna be able to run away from this, am I? Yeah, I was right. Called it. problem here right now is the yo-yo guy or the yart where's the yort not sure either way no fun to deal with okay this will work to my advantage actually you know what just to make sure it'll pull off a kill why sorry if that was extremely loud my phone just said go off I gotta put that in silent mode I am now dead. I am dead. I am dead. What the hell? You like hit me, took away my combo, and then just duh. So rude of him. Like, I didn't say you could do that. You weren't supposed to do that. Level 2. Yeah, that makes so much sense. To be, to be fair, it was a failure of a fight. Oh, oh, there was a thing over there. I... 
Okay, one of these guys, the Mole 2s. These guys actually have some, like, pretty good battle chips. If you guys remember the Mole Virus from the previous game, you can also find the regular Mole Viruses in the... What's it called? In Undernet Area 6. They've got, like, the same, like, 10 HP and stuff like that. I wasn't gonna hit him in time. But these ones can actually give you some pretty rare chips. I believe you can get, like, air shoes, uh, a meteor type battle chip. Of course, I got nothing right now. The other thing is, like, they have more health than, like, some of the bosses. Like, for real, he's got more health than, um, Airman's final form. Which is insane, in my opinion. I was thirsty, I was making a slight mistake there, but he's down. I'm gonna get Varsword and that could be useful. Anyway, I'm gonna grab that blue mystery data. Oh, and it's the final bug frag. Nice, that means I can head back to uh, Kotobuki and get that Zeus Hammer battle chip. Did I run away from this? Snapper. No! Because of course, why would you let me? Just a back and forth slog. What do we got over here? Make sure the SSS license door opened. Power up sub-memory. Cool. I believe it's the last one of those I need. And there's a thing over here. I'm gonna save because I know it's a protect us. It's gonna be hiding behind here and the strongest one there is. So yeah, they have 620 health, but we can actually deal with this one. Essentially all it's gonna take is just one of our attack ups and a Life Sword 3 to take him out. That's pretty much all this is going to come down to. Did not mean to spam roll version 3. Oh, dang. I thought we had the combo. Fire, Aqua, Alec, attack plus 20 for the extra damage. And then we'll go ahead and unlock this. Anti-Navi X. Now, this door I'm not going to be opening today. Is, I don't know if I can open it and whatnot, so yeah. We'll be saving this for the next episode, because this has been going on for a long while, at least for me. Especially since it's like two days of recording. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one, where you go ahead, open this door, and, well, probably a few more things. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode. Later!